Pearl was born to be a mom. She was so sweet, licking Wally. She would cuddle with him. My cat Wally is quite bigger than Pearl now, but we kind of joke around that Wally is her child. I didn't expect such easy transition, having a cat come into the house. The whole journey of Wally started when I hopped out of my car at the grocery store and I heard this super loud meow. And I looked over and I saw this tiny little white kitten run in front of a car. And you could tell he was obviously a dump. So I just plucked him up, put him to my chest, and we brought home our Wally. He was in such poor condition. He had ear infections, the poisoning, chest infections. He wanted to nurse. And Pearl was the first one to go like, okay, you're mine. She just adopted him. Wally was very dependent on Pearl. He would come and kind of lay across her. And Pearl was totally willing to have that happen. She produced milk and nursed Wally. We were concerned, like, is this okay for her? But Bet said, go for it. And it was like a miracle. Also, as she was the pack leader, Everyone accepted Wally right off the bat. They were all like, okay, we're going to be the big brothers, we're going to be the big sisters, we're going to step up, and we're going to love you. So now their relationship has grown. We see Wally still wants the attention from Pearl. But I also see Wally having other relationships within our home. Pearl's actually had a litter of actual dogs. Recently, when our little puppies came into the house, he was like, I got this. Pearl took care of me. I'm going to return the favor. Wally likes to chase after, and they'll roll around on each other. Yeah, he is totally part of the pack. If they're laid on a bed, he'll come and join them. He prefers the dog and mimics them in certain ways. So they're like, okay, fine. He's just a weird looking dog. I love that Wally and Pearl and then the rest of the weenie dog pack show absolute, unconditional, true love. And it doesn't matter that Wally is a cat. 